Hi, welcome here. I'm so happy you're here today. His sufficiency. Let's read God's word. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who is compassion on you. Isaiah 54, 10. Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Psalm 46, 10. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. Psalm 63, 1-5 His Sufficiency I understand you perfectly and love you eternally. It is your soul I love rather than your appearance or performance. Sometimes you are so dissatisfied with both of these that they become your focus. To break, to break free from this self-preoccupation, relax in my loving presence and let the light of my love soak into your entire being. Rest deeply while I massage your thoughts and feelings, helping you change your focus from yourself to me. Remember that I created you to know me, to enjoy me and center your life in me. Cease striving and know that I am God. The world abounds with idols, things you turn to when you want to feel better about yourself. Eating, entertainment, exercise, mastery of something or someone. However, none of these things can slake the thirst of your soul, which yearns for me alone. Idolatrous substitutes may suppress your appetite for me, mainly by distracting you but they provide no satisfaction. When you get the gnawing sensation around the edges of your soul, return to me. Your soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. Praise the Lord.